Alrighty, where are we on the map? This is a very tiny map. It must be leading to another location, surely. The Grey Husk is now just a glorified storage for unused containers. This place has a, an interesting look. Small droplets have started to gather inside the bottles. They're a long way from being full. Mr. Dewey! There you are. Dewey. He gives you a hard stare. Haven't seen your mug before. You here to buy or you here to make even more problems for me? Keep that tone with me and I'll tell the Nugans you were lying out your ass about your water problems. Cool it, mate. I'm here for Merid and help you out. Fuck, sorry. It's just this water business is driving me up the wall. He stares moodily at his dried up dew catchers. I appreciate your help. He looks you over again and lets out a pained sigh. I've had thieves stealing my water for the past few months and my contacts are threatening to cut ties if I don't deliver my quota. It's got me on edge. He rubs the back of his neck. I'm not excusing myself, just explaining. Caught between a rock and a hard place, sir. You want some help? I won't say no to that. Let me know if you need anything to get the job done. How much is water going for right now? Too fucking much. The drought's been driving the price up year after year. Right now, water's worth triple what it was five years ago. Seems like I'm making bank, but with the cost of everything else going up at the same rate, I'm barely making men's eat. Men's meat. Uh, where do you travel to trade your water? Meriden's my biggest pot, but I swing by... Hatter Hill, Ardith, and the small settlements like Buraminya. It's a bit of a hike, but it's not like I have a choice. Which song have we been a Dewey for? Gee, it's probably about 20 years at this point. The Hatter Hill mayor said to give me a loyalty discount on my sales tax if I make it past 50. He laughs. What are the other Deweys like? We know each other, but I don't have them over for a beer. That's what you're asking. We don't really have time to sit around and shoot the shit. Tell me more about the drought. The wheat belt hasn't seen a drop of rain for the last 15 years, give or take. Everyone has their theories. All I know is it's a good time to be in the water business. He scowls at his bone dry condensers. If you can keep random dickheads from robbing you blind. Okay, so how do I find these water thieves? Exactly. Stick to the shade, mate. Well, they have to be nearby, surely. So if I just travel nearby... Maybe I'll find them. I, sorry, I thought I would find clues. But that is evidently not the case. You step on a rock and stumble as it collapses under your weight. Looking at the bottom of your boot, you can see it's some half-cooked, mostly burned damper. The bite marks around the edges are small, but human. Got some damper here. Whoever took a bite's got some small chompers. Found some damper. Whoever made it can't cook to save their lives. Show your components at the bottom of your boot. Gross. She leans closer than recoils. Good find. Keep your eyes peeled for anything else. Okay, so I was right. There are clues. Good. Let's go back this way. Any other new clues? Nope. Oh, yes, over here. Well, that's the clue. This is the loot. She picks up a large empty plastic bottle. Our thieves don't seem to know the value of what they're stealing. Are they telling me they're children? They've got small chompers. Mm. I don't see any other hints, clues or anything. Wait a sec. You see that? She points to an empty food tin. Someone's been camping out around here. Hide and wait for the thieves. Let's wait to see who rocks up for the water. Wait a sec. You see that? Nope. You're camped out for out and knew it. Before a boy and girl emerge from the bush. One looks to be barely five years old, but the other maybe just hit nine. The older one quickly races to Dewey's house and snags a few bottles from the trailer before racing back to the tree line. Don't just sit there. Get after him. I'm running. You come across a large group of kids listening to a girl no older than 10 years reading aloud. She stops at the sound of bushes rustling. Mum? Yes, Muffin? <laughs> no one's going to find their mum the bush, kiddo. Hopeful look shatters at the sound of your voice. Who are you? Where did you all come from? We're all from Forestania. It's, uh, she looks around trying to orient herself. It's somewhere nearby. Why did you leave this forest, Anya? 
There were bad people outside, so Mum grabbed her big gun. She puts her arms wide. And we ran. But Mum was feeling tired, so she said, find water and wait for me. So we did. She looks at the ground. I hope she gets here soon. You built all this? She starts the metal structure with a grin. Yep, all by ourselves. She points to some tents Charlie set up nearby. We put those up too, but I don't think we did it right. I mean, it's constructed. What does Mum look like? I might have seen her around. We've all got different mums. We kind of just... She shrugs, then has to brush her unkempt hair out of her eyes. We ended up together. Anyway, my mum's got long blonde hair like me. She also has green eyes and wears a lot of bracelets. She made one for each of us. She just for the kids to show their own bracelets, and they do, grudgingly. She was wearing coveralls, uh, overalls sorry, the last time we saw her too. I'm here to catch a water thief. Is that you lot? Our mum said to find water, and we did. We tried looking for our own water, but it was hard, so we take the Dewey's water. If there's any left over, we sell it to buy things. Her eyes shine. I want to save up so when mum comes, we all have fresh bread that we use on special days. Yeah, kids, you don't get to fuck over someone else just because you're stupid. If your kids need the money, why not work with the Dewey? I'm sure he'll cut you a deal. Where do you sell the water? Anywhere we can walk to. The bigger kids like Carson and Haley go super fast sometimes. She wants two kids to don't look much older than her. Your mum wouldn't like you stealing from people though, right? Tell me whatever you need to do to see the next day is the right thing to do. So you're wrong. And the people you sell to don't care that you're a bunch of tiny kids. Hey, we're not dirty. Smell me if you don't, yeah, whatever. You can't keep freeloading off the Dewey. You need to find somewhere else to go. She rolls rise with all the sarcasm of preteen can muster. Yeah, like where? Go make a home in Meriden. Make the trip to Kalgoorlie. They'll let you in. I've heard about them. Dad used to have a radio. She taps her lip thoughtfully. Can't be worse than living off bush tucker and shitting in a hole in the ground. She looks around at her bevy of charges and takes a commanding air. All right, you lot, listen up. I've got mum's map and we're heading out for a new home. Record she follows her words. Go whatever you need and let's get on the road. Great, because I was about to kill you all. I was about to just massacre you and not care about it. <laughs> so, okay, that works. Do I have to go back to the Dewey? No, I just go back to Hunter. Okay, and then we're going to loop over here. Yes, but no. Okay, roll that. Feral kids hide out. Ha. Huh. Oh, they get too close to Kalgoorlie. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to find extra spots in the map, but I'm not finding any. I'm doing a right poor job of it. Jason, where are you? Why has he got a freaking witch's hat on his head? Jason, have you lost your marbles? It's the bank guard you met in Meriden, but now he's wearing a witch's hat on his head. He's moving his hands in circles, muttering to himself. He's unharmed. Unarmed. And doesn't seem to have any provisions. He's frowning at a rock. How are you still alive, by the way, if you have no provisions? Flibbity jibbity bam. His shout startles a nearby flock of crocodiles. What has happened to your sanity? Which takes off with squawks of indignant protest. He crouches down to inspect the rock and lets out a heavy sigh. Uh, what are you doing here? Angel's got a bounty to out on finding you. He stands up straight and takes a look around. Where's here? He sheds his eyes. I'm pretty sure Meriden's just behind that big tree. He looks behind him. Or maybe that one. He licks dry lips. Hey, do you have any water? I'm really thirsty. And kind of hungry. Does Angel know you're out here? Same response. What are you doing? He glances over his shoulder for anyone who might be listening, as if someone wearing the reflective gear in the middle of the bush has any sense of situational awareness whatsoever. There's treasure in that rock. I'm going to blast it out. It could bring you- Fuck, I sold those hammers. Uh, I could bring you a hammer. No. He holds out a hand to stop you. This is something I have to do alone. He breaks character grin at you. Did that sound cool or what? Uh, do you, how, how do you know there's treasure in that rock? Can't you feel it? He holds out a hand. It's right there. Yeah, have some water. Oh yeah. He cracks the lid, sculls half the bottle, then pours the rest over his face. Bro, do not fucking waste water on your face. Oh my god. Feeling fresh, feeling fine. Here's some food. He looks at it, but doesn't take it. Yeah, nah, I meant real food. He lifts them off his fingers. Pies, Lamingtons, he used to spread Zanger. But if you could go for Lamingtons, get them from Holly, will ya? Cheers. Fuck you, I'm not getting you food. Here's a yeasty spread sandwich. Hey, you got a smile when you hand that over. He punches you in the shoulder. Ah, just joshing. You're a bloody legend. 
He practically inhales it. When he's done, he burps, loud and long. Do you have to? It is so uncouth. I think I'm ready to do this. Are you ready for me to do this? Mm. Power radiates off him in waves. You get the sense that if he ever truly put his mind to something, the world itself would bend to his will. We could bring the rock to Meriden. You doubt Thomas? Just like my last name? Frowns as he tries to puzzle that one out. Well, whatever. I'll just get rich myself. He stares at a specific rock, frowning intently. Sweat begins to break out of his forehead as he mumbles to himself. Watch. The reservoir of power he's drawing on is huge. It's like splashing in a puddle only to fall into an ocean. He wavers on his feet, suddenly disoriented. Reach out to steady him. He squeezes your hand hard. It hurts, but not in the way you'd expect. He's siphoning energy through you, not taking, shedding. He's a thunderstorm, and you are a lightning rod, drawing away the excess so he can focus his will. You hear a muffled pop, like cork being sucked into a bottle. The rock had been staring at vaporizes, revealing the shining gold within. He grins at you. Hey, that went pretty well. His eyes roll back in his head and he collapses bonelessly at your feet. Is he dead? I've just knocked out. Come on, big fella. Let's get you home. He leans down to grab Jason's shoulders. You take turns carrying Jason, but the walk back to Meriden is long. Please tell me you got the loot. I hope you picked up a loot. Otherwise, the whole thing would be worthless. Uh, isn't he going to be in a jail cell? Because he's wanted for freeing... Scott? Well, I suppose I can't complain. She kicks Jason lightly and he snores. Your part in this bounty is concluded. Um, I don't think he did what you said he did, though. Your payment is promised. You leave her frowning down at him. I, I don't think he's responsible for whatever just happened. Oh, okay. I could have done with talking to the woman. Oh, well, guess it's time to go see Dawn again. <laughs> Dawn? Zach Parker, I don't know you. He saunters up to you. I've been looking for you, mate. I don't. He draws his gun. I heard the Ripper's bounty was claimed by some nobody in Meriden. For your sake, I hope that's a filthy lie. Killing me won't help him. You pick the wrong person to intimidate. That's a chance I'm willing to take. I am standing way too close. I would like to back up a step and I would like to shoot him. I just healed too. Son of a bitch. Oh, I can only shoot once per round. Jesus, this is going to take forever. Oh, this is the saddest battle ever. I'm actually not getting extra AP. And I think he's doing more damage to me than I'm doing to him. This is the dumbest fight ever. Just for the record. Oh, you son of a bitch. That's cheating. lose an action point by the way are we just gonna do this over and over and over and over and over and over and over oh. guess so oh. okay no anybody know his name for a death certificate nope oh well no I do actually Zach Parker but what the fuck was the point to all of this what was the point? Whatever. I'm going to Hunter. I want my reward. And I'm going to sell these uh, plates to Cole. Plate? Singular? Actually, I think I only have one. Grinds his teeth. Those fellas you dealt with at the Kuja, they're back. Had some the other siders walk into town bloody and bruised. Fuckers. He shakes his head. I'm relying on you to send them off for good this time. There's more of them? Back at Kuja? Deep breaths, Hunter. Someone put a bullet between their eyes soon enough. Trust me, I know. I just took a lot of damage for that, bro. Great job with the Dewey, mate. I'll let the Nugans know. Here's your cut. Swing past whenever. And using our fairy friends? No. Do you know where the cords of Bilroth are? He squints. South Oz. Somewhere. How hot does aluminium have to melt? 
Pretty hot, I reckon. I don't, I know I don't know everything, right, mate? I'm just a bloke who likes to read, not some bloody southern oracle. Well, I didn't find one. So if you could point them out to me, that'd be great. Do you have any... So many comic books. Oh, 40 bucks, we're getting... I could probably rescue Cole now, I think. All things considered. Although, I really should go to Kalgoorlie before I continue the main quest. Wait, isn't Kalgoorlie the main quest? Yeah, it is. Whatevs. Alana and Holly Bell are going at- oh, we've got to do this one again. Okay. This quest always fucks me up. Am I just waiting for her to walk to me? Maybe? Because that's usually what happens here when you press continue and someone's still moving. I gotta wait for her to get to me. I don't know if that's really gonna happen. I think I'm just... I'm lying to myself because I don't want to have to force close and get back into the game. <laughs> No, she should have reached me by now, surely. Ah, oh, there we go. That's my girl. She pats your hand fondly. She's looking at her mother with a strange expression. Some mixture of confusion, anger, and deep hurt. She makes eye contact with you, and her face assumes its usual passive watchfulness. What the? Without any other indication that he knows something is wrong, he reaches out and takes Jess's hand. She blinks back tears as her fingers intertwine. What the hell is going on over here? What was that all about? Is Alana not okay? What the? That new energy you're excited about sure did a number on Mick. Yeah, she's quiet for a moment, but the more I thought about it afterwards, the more it seemed like a good thing, you know? She wears a hand. Not Mick, the mysteries beyond our comprehension part. That part I like a lot. Hmm. Mate, he wrinkles his nose. Wash your bloody hands, eh? People still suck. Surprise, surprise. I don't know where to get these answers, man. Pris and shit gave me the other answers, but I don't think they're gonna give me the answers this time around. I don't know where zinc cream is. I don't know where the comic books are. Can't sort that out. Can't sort that out. Can't sort that out. And ugh, back to cool jump. Yeah, except I have to rest before I do that shit. I got to full health. That's odd. But that's okay. Don't care. Wish you could just ah say keep the same ones every time. Okay, back to cool Is there really nothing on this map? It seems weird. Is there really nothing in the middle? Apparently not. Okay. I expect this is going to be harder, so I anticipate dying. I might have to do this later. Because it was hard enough the first time around. I can't even get up a premeditative shot. That's what sucks the most. I just think I've got to cross the line. I think we've all got to cross the line. Yeah, there we go. Okay, she's got a long rifle. Oh, I forgot to change Mad's weapon. <laughs> Sorry, Mad. Ugh. This dog gets way too many turns. Yeah, I feel this is going to be harder. She seems problematic with... Are these the same people? No. <gasps> nice. Shoot the dog. Shift the dog. Look, I tried to help my sister out. Oh, fuck. 
<laughs> Screw you. Hmm. How much else he can do? Ugh. God, why do y'all suck? Is it because he has cover? Don't know. But you're all gonna hurt for that. You're all gonna hurt. <laughs> that was quick. Jesus. gone which is problematic <laughs> at least you hit your own people I mean that's something okay you know not that works too ah you can use fire that it really does all that much, I'm gonna be honest with you. It's kind of oh. shit. It's kind of like super shit. <laughs> Damn it, he walked out of the fire. Ouch. Ouch, there he goes. Oof, there are four of them and I three of me. Wasting my time reloading like that, honestly. Thank God for that. That sucks because Ella's gonna have to heal now. Heal us. She can heal again. Um, you are going to get hit, unfortunately. But I need you as a sniper to move. Oh, was it critical? Oh, fuck me. I'm going to have to redo this battle. <sighs> okay. Sucks, but now I have to go melee. Wait, you can just hit me? Oh, I can't hit either of you. I can hit you. Hello? Fucking shoot him! She's fucking broken. Okay, it's not even her, it's the game. like early access but like I still expect things to function now this is really annoying so how do we combat that without the melees getting to us how much does it cost to heal somebody no matter what I use. Mm -hmm. All things considered, I wasn't that poor the first round. Oh, I still didn't change your damn weapon, girl.
can you please heal DJ? Are you far enough to kill the dog? I don't think so. I just healed him. Fuck off. I wish I could do something with those two AP. It's such a fucking waste. Yeah, his melee is fucking me up. So frustrating. I need better weapons. I think everyone needs to buy better weapons. Because we're getting screwed over. And there goes DJ. <laughs> Why did that not drop him? Position, but he doesn't have any more movement speed. Oh, that's great. <laughs> oh. Just get rid of him so we can reposition. Unfortunate, but it is what it is. Can you actually get him? Alright, this guy. Yeah! Ouch. <laughs> yes. That is a win. Ouch. She could hit me. Ack! Damn it. And then there were two. And they have more health than I do. <laughs> Shit! It is however my turn. So let's take full advantage of that. Oh, I know that that was enough. Mm, pray. Pray. Really? Oh well, at least he's not shooting me if he's healing. We like to all take significant damage. <laughs> you know, I've got a lot of meat on me. I should probably start using it. And check out how those bats help Matt as well. If they're of use to her. These other weapons though don't look like they're any plus ones. So I don't think they're going to benefit my team at all. Well, that one will though. If someone's using a hunting rifle. Is anybody using a hunting rifle? Hmm. Okay, so we have options here. Uh, not for me though. Just a pistol is not helping you. We'll come back. She is using a sniper rifle. I don't have a better rifle for her, alas. Oh, I need to give you more food. Oh, sorry, bandages. What's your secondary? Oh, this is honey knife, but we never use it. You though, you need to swap, thank you. And to, what do you do? You do 28 to 33. Okay. Uh, 
what you have is actually better. And the shotgun. Yeah, well, you're always in range, so that's fair. Yeah, that is not working for me. Please get this rifle in your hands. Yeah, it does way more damage. Please use that. I know you're supposed to be using your, like, magic voodoo shit, but it's, just, it's not working for me, sir. Just take that. All right. So, if that's the case, I'll go back to you. 20 to 23. 21 to 23. Yeah, let's give you that, though. You're not really using melee. And then, what was that? 19 to 22, 21 to 25, just in case you have to use it, Ella. I'm just preparing you for what if. Should I have a melee just in case? Hmm. Ooh, range of 0 to 12, that's considered melee. 27 to 29, 29 to 35. Okay, I don't see me ever using it, but that's nice. I didn't think I had any ammo. Consumables. Twelve, five, five, ten, five, mm. Might leave all the rest as is. Okay. Uh, should I feed them or are we just gonna... Hmm. We'll just rest on the way out. I think... We'll rest by the time we get to Meriden. Look, if the game lets me play it like this, I'm gonna play it like this. You know? Why isn't that getting out of that screen? Whatever. Hello? God, we froze for a second there. Now you good? Yes, now we're good. Okay, back to Meredith. 